Another useful feature in Machine 1.5 is the addition of macro controls. You'll notice that in both the machine hardware and software, a new page has been created at the end of the group page list. This page contains eight different macro knobs. Now what the macro controls are useful for is assigning any parameter in that particular group to that particular knob. So I could assign uh, a macro control to control, uh, for example, filter cutoff, uh, or any of the sound parameters in that particular group. And then I would have access to all of those different parameters conveniently available on one page. First, what you'll want to do is choose the thing that you want to control. In this case, I'll control the filter cutoff on this group. So I'll just right click on the destination and I get the option assign macro control. Let's assign that to macro knob number one. Now I'll go to the snare drum sound in this particular kit. On the snare drum, let's assign a macro control to the tuning knob. I'll assign that to macro two. And then also a control to the reverse parameter of the snare drum. Now from the macro knob page directly inside machine, I can now control the snare drum in real time. Like so. Now an added benefit of this arrangement is that all of these macro knobs can also receive a MIDI assignment. If I want to automate this using MIDI, I could do so. This is really useful if you have an external control surface such as a keyboard or a fader box, something of that nature. Also, each of these individual macro controls will show up inside the automation list inside your sequencer.